We're gonna take the next three days here in Paris to create our own food tour. We have a list of all the different foods that we wanna try it while we're here in the city. <laughs> we're Heath and Alyssa. After RVing all over America, we came up with the dream of RVing all over the world. In this video series, we're starting in Paris. Good morning, we made it to Paris. We are determined to get off of our extreme jet lag from last night today, and we're kicking off this morning with coffee and croissants. This one's a croissant like you like to get with daddy, and this one is called pan of chocolate. It's got chocolate in it. Hi, Which one do you want? Hey. You want this pillow, you want to keep talking chocolate one? Going to go with the chocolate as well. Yeah, yeah. So if you take the battle bus, that will take you to things mm -hmm. you're hard to walk to from here. Like the, like this the is why I came here. We have three full days here at Paris. Our goal is to hit all the top tourist sites Mommy. and try as much French food as possible. Mommy. We were going to try to make it a little bit further from the Eiffel Tower, but there was a place that opened seating and everybody was starving. So this is stop number one along our made up French food tour. <laughs> we ordered French onion soup, frog legs, and crepes. That looks incredible. Who ordered foie gras? Trying to get as many onions as possible. Oh, look at that cheese. At one point in your life, in your motherhood journey, you just accept that a percentage of this is going on the sleeping baby. I like to try. That cheese is phenomenal. Don't have the jambon. So are the onions. I think I'm gonna order this at every meal. I love French onion soup, but this is really good. I thought I ordered frog legs, but he brought foie gras. Foie, foie gras? How do you pronounce it? Foie? Foie. Foie gras. So we're gonna try that. So this is gonna be my first French food I'm trying, other than my croissant this morning. Pâté de foie gras. It's like a tuna-like texture, a little bit. But softer, softer, like a butter, mm -hmm. buttery tuna. Buttery tuna. Buttery. I'm just telling you what my mouth feels. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, not bad. That's good. I wouldn't describe it as buttery tuna, like you did. I don't know how I would describe it. It's like a savory mousse. Yeah, like avocado texture. Yes. Our last trip to Paris, I had very subpar crepes. So a few weeks ago, I don't even think it was a month, I called John and Peter and I said, listen, I really need to have a redemption tour of Paris because it's supposed to be amazing crepes and the crepes that I had was just not good. So that's why we came back to France for this, for this moment. Better be good. I got the crepes with a strawberry jam. That's amazing. It's yeah. so good. Do they taste like pancakes, like American pancakes at all? Just a very flat pancake. Very <laughs> flat. Wait, over the window. Oh, cool. <laughs> What's really cool is it only goes off if it's a so We're going. <laughs> we take a break now on every one of our adventure days to do this. Good job. Good job. Yeah, you're doing it. Oh, good one. Finally got some duck confit. Heath is back at our Airbnb feeling a little under the weather, but the duck is really tender, really full of flavor, and it came with a salad, so it's almost healthy. So Heath is running a pretty high fever. 
So we're just gonna kind of hang out in the Airbnb today instead of going out and exploring more of Paris. But Peter ran to the grocery store, got us a baguette. So he's gonna start his day with a little bit of French food at least. Even though Heath is sick, before we came to Paris, he booked me a cooking class at Le Cordon Bleu. So he stayed home and took care of both kids so that I could go take, it's okay, so I could go take a pastry class. I made shoe pastry. Now my whipped cream has melted because it's been on a train for almost an hour. But I made this and I waited to try it until I got home <laughs> with my family. Yeah, they're excited. All right. Oh my gosh, I like that. <laughs> you want a bite? Yeah. Is it good? What do you think? Well, our second day in Paris did not go as planned since Heath is sick, but we did start our morning with a baguette. Ellie got some quiche for lunch. Can you tell me what you're gonna eat? I'm gonna eat the bagel. No, it's a quiche. I'm gonna eat the quiche. All right, you wanna try a bite? Yeah. You, pick, you can just pick it up like this. Yeah. Mm -mm, yummy. <laughs> Good. All things considered, I feel like we got a good amount of French foods in. Hopefully he wakes up feeling better tomorrow. We can cross a few more off the list. Please don't kick the camera, buddy. I'm feeling well enough to get out of bed today, but the last day and a half or so, I have been really not feeling well because I've been feeling kind of Cruddy, I think we're just gonna order in tonight. But we're still gonna try to experience as much French food as we can on our last night here. <coughs> yeah. Ooh, you want steak frites? Beef? Borgnet, borgnet. It's gonna be just videos of me butchering delicious sounding things. We've been trying really hard to study French and so far it's gone terribly it's just gone really bad what how do you say i don't speak french i already forgot je ne parle pas français je ne je ne that's, that's what, what i what said messing up no je m'appelle claude je te coupe claude je ne je ne je same ne. sound yes je ne we've been doing this for hours Anyway, we didn't get to do everything we wanted to in Paris, but we still saw a lot. We saw some great foods, amazing pastries, some made by Alyssa. And we're going to finish up with some great French food delivered via Uber Eats. Sausage. You want the sausage? Why Ellie, for you. For me. That was the fastest Uber Eats delivery I've ever had. I think I imagine eating most every meal out at a restaurant because you walk by all of these corner side cafes, but being able to get it delivered via Uber Eats is just as good. It's not. <laughs> it all looks really good though. Cheese and dip. Ellie got cheese and dip. And sausage. And sausage. Is it good? Let me know how it is, if it's good. Should I have some? Cool. It's good? Should I eat some too? No. Maybe I'll get to try all of them. Stop. So I'm gonna try the beef bourguignon. It is like super tender beef with potatoes and onions and carrots and celery. So a lot like a beef stew in the States. This is exactly what I want on a day when a cold front hit like it did today. And the temperatures dropped like 20 degrees. It was really good. Got some ratatouille with polenta. Can I try it? Yeah. Zucchini and eggplant and carrot 
casserole with like some cheese on it. And Daddy. I feel like a kid. My mom's looking at me <laughs> eating my vegetables. Make a try to spit them out. Alright, what are you trying? Amazing mashed potatoes. I don't think I want to revisit the ratatouille. I'm fine if it's gone from my life. What about your steak frites over there? Oh yeah, yeah. I snacked on a couple of the fries. I mean, on a scale of one to ten, I would say the fries are like a six. That's not. That's not good. Yeah, that's they're low. they're pretty average, I would say. I got you a little plate if you want it. So what is this? The steak frites part of the frites? <laughs> what? Yeah, baby. Thank you for saying. You. you want? A, of course. I gotta warn you, they're just okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, they're, they're, like I said, they're a six. When we get to an eight, you can read my book on french fries. <laughs> Last on the list, we've got, looks like more steak with carrots and potatoes, but cut in a different form. Oh, so this is like a roast. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like beef stew or like, mm. yeah, like a roast. That's like really good. Roast. It's good. I noticed that you didn't get any of the vegetables from the stew on your plate. They avoided my fork. <laughs> Game plan for tomorrow, it's a big day because we're picking up our RV that we're gonna be spending the next month in, driving across the south of France, the Alps, maybe going into Switzerland, we'll see if they let us in. And Monaco in Andorra. And there's a 3% chance crossing into Italy for like a day or two. And Spain. We're gonna hit maybe a lot of countries. Stay tuned. <laughs>